Welcome friends to another Dune video. Central to the way of life of the Fremen is of course water. It is held sacred by them. They even go so far as to take water out of the dead. How do they do that? And what ceremonies are set around it? Let's get straight into it. To reclaim water from a Fremen's body, you need a death still. According to the traditions of the Fremen, the water in a man's body is owned by the tribe, not the individual. The body, when put through the still, would be supervised by a reverend mother in waiting, a Sayadina. All the community, or Sikh, would gather around the dead Fremen's belongings and their water bag afterwards. The leader or Nabe would speak and remind the others the moon would rise for their lost comrade and would summon their spirit that night. He would then declare himself a friend of the fallen tribesmen. Speak of a moment when he'd been helped or been taught by the deceased. Take an item of theirs and some others for the dead person's family. The Chris knife would be left with the remains. From June at the funeral of Jamis. Stilgar turned, full circle on one heel, passing his gaze across the ring of faces. I was a friend of Jamis, he said. When the hawk plane stooped upon us at Hole in the Rock, it was Jamis pulled me to safety. He bent over the pile beside him, lifted away the robe. I take this robe as a friend of Jamis. Lead is right. Other people in the tribe would then follow, declare their friendship and its reason, and then take an item until nothing remained except the water bag. A Sidena was last and would verify the bag's measure and give the water rings to the relevant person. Water rings are metallic counters and are a measure of the volume of water released by the body through the death still process. Paul, for example, killed Chamis and would receive the weight of his water to replenish what he had lost in combat. A prayer would then be chanted, a prayer to commit the spirit to Shahulud, the Fremen name for the worms they worship and they would all recommit their own destinies to their god as well. If the person was not killed in combat with another Fremen, the watermasters of the siege would take the bag and pour it into a communal basin. This would be witnessed by the whole tribe, and this was the end of the ritual. One example of the meaning water holds for the Fremen was when Paul Atreides, after killing Jamis, shed tears to do this at a Fremen funeral, was giving water to the dead and was regarded as a profound moment. It is not just the members of the tribe they take water from. The death still can also be used on their enemies. This is from Winds of Dune. I believe it is Alia Atreides speaking. We have chosen a style of from an execution reserved for only the most heinous criminals. You will be put in the death still while still alive we will draw out the water from your body, bit by bit, leaving your mind aware until the last. It was the practice of the desert dwellers for Fremen, women and children to go over the battlefield. Once the fight had concluded, they would kill the enemies of the tribe using Chris knives. I assume these are people that were injured and that weren't able to fight still. So the enemy's water would be reclaimed for the tribe. We can assume the water from those corpses would go back into the tribe and the corpses would be discarded. An exception to this would be when someone is found guilty of something, their water would be considered tainted. This happened to Alia Atreides, her water was poured into the sands of Arrakis. So we've gone over the ceremony, friends. But what of the death still itself? How would that work? There was an attempt made to explain this in the Dune Encyclopedia. This first part will be a direct quote. The death still's major components were two plasteel vats, one within the other, plus a heating device and condensing system. Its use was very simple. The body was placed in the inside vat, and the space between the walls of the two vats was filled with maker oil. The lid on top had a valve and a vapour tube. Heat from the outside of the device was transferred by the oil from the outer 
to the inner vat and the liquid in the body began to boil as it escaped from the valve it was directed down the tube and collected. The Fremen say a man's flesh is his own but his water belongs to the tribe. After the distilling process, water measurement and mingling with the tribe's water hoard, what little residue remained was treated with utmost care and buried in the earth to share with Shahulud. Now friends, I turn this over to you. What do you think to the design of the death still? Do you enjoy the ceremony? And how it shows water is so central to the Fremen. Have you tasted water from, from a death still? Comment down below.